Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Now that we've created a few shapes, let's talk about destructive editing versus non-destructive editing. So far as we've created these different shapes, we have done so by using non-destructive editing. So if we double click here, for example, we still have access to the circle. We can move this circle around, we can resize it, just as if it's one shape. And it behaves that subtract property here, so it still subtracts, but you have the ability to change things around however you'd like. So if I undo that, we can also double click here in this peninsula. If we double click, we can see that we still have this one shape, even though it's cutting it and behaving that Boolean property that we set to subtract this area. We can still double click inside of here and we can change things around however we'd like. So that's non-destructive editing. We always have access to these children shapes that are combined. And so here we have this one shape. If we double click, it's made up of four shapes. And same thing with this peninsula here. It's combined with this water shape and then also with this peninsula. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish. Now, there may be times we want to flatten this selection and make it destructive. For example, in this peninsula, we can go to Object and Path and choose to convert this to a path, or we can use Command-8 or Control-8 on the windows. And as soon as we do that, now we can see it's one path. It baked everything in that we've done. And now when we double click, we have access to these nodes here that we can change independent of those objects. Now, there may be times where you want to convert multiple shapes into one path, but as a rule of thumb for me, what I like to do is combine these shapes using non-destructive editing and then choose to do this if I find that there's a need. Just to go a little bit further in this, if I double click on this water, we can see that these four shapes, if I move it around, we still have access to these four shapes. And if I click away, it's again one shape. Let's undo that. But let's say this water, for example, I may want to bake this in. So I can go to object and convert to path or command or control eight. And now when I double click, I have access to move these at an angle that I want and move this as if it's just one shape. So I hope this gives you a good grasp of how non-destructive editing can really help you and how you can turn your combined shapes into just one path if you ever need it.